All right, everyone, back here for another video. And today's video is going to be on why you can't make any money in the stock market. So riddle me this. Let me know if you've heard of this one before. It's you make money 10, 20, 30 days in a row. And now one day gets rid of all those days and more, right? That one loss ruins weeks and months or even years of work, right? How many times did that happen to you? It's happened to me all the time when I first started first got started trading, right? So today's video, I'm gonna explain how to protect yourself, how to never blow up again, and how to actually keep the money in your pocket because it's very easy to make money in the stock market. The hard part is keeping it in your pocket. So let me talk about what I first did when I first started trading, and then now some things that you know I've learned along the way after eight years of trading and you know $7 million later. And again, if you don't believe me, you could go to our website, myinvestingclub.com and check out my broker statements there. So when I first started trading and got to a really, really good level of trading, I would have a $35,000 account. And what I would do with that $35,000 account is I would grow it to $50,000. And after I grew it to $50,000, I would give myself a wire out of $15,000 and that would be my paycheck, right? So now when I, when I got to that level, I was able to consistently grow my bank account, right? Because the more you grow your bank account, the more comfort you feel, the more you don't feel like you have to trade every single day. So that also helps in case of a bad day or bad blow up or bad something, at least all your money is not in your day trading account. So I highly recommend you don't have to go 35 to 50. You know, you could every week, you could just pull out, you know, 50% of your profits. You know, if you made $600 this week, pull out 300 on Friday. If you made 2000 this week, pull out 1000 on Friday. That way you give yourself a paycheck and you set yourself up with a rainy day fund in case something bad happens, okay? So that's what I did when I first started. Now, what to do now is you need to set yourself up with risk parameters, okay? So I'm gonna give you an example. If you're driving a car and you're going 150 miles an hour, are you gonna do that without a seat bag, without a seat belt and without an airbag? Probably not. So if you're trading, where is your seat belt and where is your airbag in your trading? So I used to trade at S&B Capital, which is a prop firm in New York City. And they had someone whose full-time job was a risk manager. His full-time job was to make sure that you didn't blow up your account, right? So if professional prop firms and professional hedge funds have a risk manager, us normal traders, we don't have access to a risk manager, but we do have access to broker tools. So what I would suggest doing is number one, set a max loss auto liquidation. The auto liquidation is very, very important because number one is we want to make sure that when we're wrong, the system kicks us out because how many times have we been wrong? We're a deer in headlights we freeze and we say, you know what? I'm just going to give it a second. You give it a second and it's even worse. And then you're like, wait, I'm just going to double down. You double down to try to fix your average. It gets even worse. Now you're at the point where it's like, I'm, I'm in too deep. Now I got to wait. I'm in too deep. It's not good. I got to just, I'm, I'm stuck. And then that leads to you blowing up your account. It's happened to me when I first started. It's happened to everyone they first started. It's just part of the learning lessons of trading. So what can you do to protect yourself? You must set an, a, a max loss auto liquidation. So what that means is this. If you make $100 a day trading, set your max loss auto liquidation to $100. That means that if you lose $100, the system is gonna immediately kick you out and you're not gonna lose more than a day's worth of work. The way to do this is you call your broker, you message your broker, and your broker usually has the ability to set this number. That is your seatbelt to start, right? That is your seatbelt. Now, what you also have to understand, guys, is the reason why we wanna do more than, we don't wanna surpass more than one day's worth of work on the max loss auto liquidation is because you have to think that trading is a game of confidence. And if you lose a month's worth of gains or a year's worth of gains, you're gonna revenge trade on a totally crazy different level, okay? I'm telling you, it's happened to me, right? You start, the bigger hole you are in, the more you try to revenge trade. So. If your hole is only a day's worth of work, you're gonna make it back tomorrow. But if you set your max loss to a week's worth of work or a month's worth of work, 
You're gonna revenge trade and it's gonna domino and domino and domino. So that's number one is set your max loss auto liquidation at your broker level today to no more than a day's worth of work. Now, additionally, what you wanna do is you wanna set yourself up with a max size on your account, okay? So what this means is once you hit this maximum share size, you can no longer keep adding because what ends up happening is let's say you have no max share size. You say, all right, I'm gonna go on 500 shares. And then I'm going to double down another 500 shares. And I'm going to double down again. And I'm going to double down again. All of a sudden, you're in 10,000 shares. Stock goes up 20 cents. You're blown up. You're dead, right? So you must set a max share size. In my opinion, if you are just getting started trading, you should not use more than 500 shares. And the way to know when it's time to raise your max share size is when you get more consistent. When you are consistently making money and consistently getting better, you could then improve your max share size. So to be honest, guys, if you just set your max loss auto liquidation at the broker level, you set yourself with a max size. That way you just can't keep adding and adding and adding and adding because what ends up happening is if you know you have a thousand shares max size, you're not going to go in a thousand shares in one bullet. You're going to slowly scale in, you're going to slowly get in, and you're going to tell your brain, you're going to rewire your brain to say, oh, wait, I already have 900 shares on. I can't add another 900. I have to be more meticulous. I got to be more careful because you ran out of bullets. If your gun has unlimited bullets, eventually you're just going to not even care. You're just going to spray it. You're going to spray it everywhere. But if your gun has a limited amount of bullets, you are going to be more careful and meticulous with where you shoot your bullets, okay? So, so long as you have your max loss auto liquidation set up at the broker level, as long as you have your max size set up at the broker level, I guarantee you will never, ever, ever, ever blow up your account again because you are going to be protected. How many times, I, I've been there so many times, right? I've been there so many times where you just let the loss balloon and balloon and balloon and balloon and before you know it, you're in too deep and you go crazy. And if I knew that max loss auto liquidation, if I knew that max size existed, if you know when I first started trading eight years ago, I would have had millions and millions and millions and millions more dollars. It took me years and years to learn this because no one taught me. No one taught me about these seatbelts, about these airbags that existed for normal guys like us, right? And that's kind of why we started MIC as well, is to teach normal people these secrets, these strategies, this process, this routine that hedge funds and institutions are using, guys. So if you want to learn more about our strategies, if you want to learn more about what we do, we're running an actual really nice promotion for Christmas. So if you go to myinvestingclub.com slash Christmas, you will be able to see how we trade, how we do things, our watch list, our one-on-one -on -one phone calls, our trading videos, our education. This is your chance to get mentored and coached by multi-millionaire traders. We've had a total of 7,000 people join MIC. Some people it was perfect for them. Some people didn't wanna learn. So we've helped and coached and mentored thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And we continue to mentor and continue to coach because this is our passion. This is our hobby and I wish when I first started, I had someone to learn from, someone to teach me these, at least the risk parameters to set for my account to make sure that I never blew up again. So if you've blown up your account or you've lost money on your account, leave a comment and let us know what you did to fix that problem, right? Because if you haven't fixed that problem, if you're still doing the same things you're doing, you're only a day away from blowing up, right? It's only one stock away from blowing your ass up. So in my opinion, guys, this is the best time to learn, best time to be educated. I'm going to keep making videos like this to help you guys because, you know, if I knew this even fucking two, three years ago, my trading would have been different. So I hope this helps. Please, please, please set your max loss, max size, auto liquidation from your broker today. And if your broker doesn't have that, it's time to switch your broker. So thank you, everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.